loop is used to repeat the same process multiple times until it meets the specified condition in a program. Do while loop is used to execute block of statement in the program as long as the condition remains true. The while end loop is used to execute block of codes or statements in a program as long as the given condition is true. Hello to all, a warm welcome to at another session of introduction to vb.net. I'm your Revati ma'am, faculty from the Department of Computer Science Vidyashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence, Mysuru. In my last session, I have started with introduction to VB. There's nothing but what is VB. Along with that, I have discussed VB keywords, data types, as well as control statements. But in my today's class, I'm going to deal with what is looping and the different types of loops which is supported by the VB.net. So dear student, anyway, we all are familiar with loops. Loops are nothing but the repetition. When I want to perform same kind of activity or when I want to execute same statement multiple times, then what I will do? I'm going to enclose those statements within the loop. So, a loop is used to repeat the same process multiple times until it meets the specified condition in a program. The looping statement is going to execute n number of times. So, here what is n? n is nothing but the condition. So, Till the condition is true, what I'm going to do? I'm going to repeat the execution. By using a loop in the program, programmer can repeat any number of statements up to the desired number of repetition. For example, think that I want to print hi how many times? How many times? Five times. So instead of writing five times, what I will do? I'm going to place this one in my looping statement. So either I can go with the while, do while or for. It is depends on the programmer. But what I will do? I'll place the statement within the loop. So five is nothing but my condition. So how many times I want to repeat? Five times, that is one, two, three, four and five. Sixth time, I'm not able to repeat. So a loop is also provide the programmer to repeat the statement in a program according to the requirement. In the sense what? According to my requirement, I'm going to repeat the statement or I'm going to repeat the execution of the program. So what I required here, I require just the condition is true. The condition is true, then only I can able to repeat the statement. If the condition is false, I'm not able to repeat this statement. So dear student, loop is also used to reduce the program complexity. So what is program complexity? How to measure program complexity? That is, think that, okay, what I want to do, I want to print the statement high. Okay, how many times? Five times I want to print. See here, if I write five times, what's going to happen? The length of the program is going to increase. Okay, and see here, while writing the statement, if I make the mistake, what's going to happen? The error is also going to increase. The number of errors is also going to increase. So the length of the program as well as debugging error, that is nothing but the debugging complexity also increases. That is nothing but the program complexity. Now, if I consider loop, how many type of loop I have? There are 
four type of loops that is supported by the vb.net that is do while loop for next loop for each loop and while end loop so here do while loop is, is nothing but the do while loop in c program and for next loop is nothing but the for loop in c program and for each loop is nothing but the for each loop in java as well as .NET and while end loop is nothing but the while loop in C program or Java or .NET. So VB supports how many different types of loops that is four different type of loop. Anyway, dear student, let's see the type of the loop one by one that is first one do while loop so what is do while loop do certain task and check the condition at the end so do while loop is used to execute block of statement in the program as long as the condition remains true okay fine see here do okay and i'm going to check the condition at the end over even though the condition is false how many times i can able to execute at least one time so the while loop initially checks the condition in while loop at the beginning only i'm going to check the condition so it is called entry control so it is called entry control or pre-testing loop whereas in my do while i'm going to check the condition at the end so it is called exit control or post testing looping statement so do it's a keyword i'm going to have the set of statement that to be executed and i'm going to have one well, and i'm going to have what that is loop until boolean expression so i'm going to write the condition at the end okay fine let's see the simple example here import system so what's my module name do loop is nothing but my module name and it is my main function okay fine see here what is i i is nothing but the integer and it is my looping variable and initially what i'm going to do here i'm going to assign the value 1 to i now i'll start with the keyword do console dot write line and i'm going to print the value of the i over so initially what's my value of i it is 1 now what i'm doing here i'm going to increment the i by 1 so i equal to i plus 1 and i'm going to check the condition i less than r equal to 10 so the condition is true what's the value of i i is 1 1 less than r equal to 10 it is true so what i'm going to do now i'm going to increment i by 1 so what's the value of i i is 1 1 plus 1 it is 2 what is i now i is 2 Okay, fine. Now I'm going to check the condition i less than r equal to 10. Is it true or false? It is true. So it is true. So what I will do? I'm going to print 2. Over well, once again, I'm going to increment i by 1. Now i is 3. 3 less than r equal to 10. Is it true or false? It is true. Now I'm going to print 3. And how many times I'll print? That is 10. 1 to 10. When i is 10, 10 less than r equal to 10, the condition is false. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to exit from the do while loop. Okay. And this is my end of sub and end of module. Okay, fine. Now see here, I'm going to have for next loop, which is similar to for loop. Okay, fine. For loop is used to repeat in the sense what when i want to repeat the statement what i will do 
the most commonly i'll go with the for next over now when i use for next when i know how many times i want to repeat the statement in advance that time i'll go with the for next loop a for loop is useful in such a case when we know how many times a block of code has to be executed in advance okay fine in vb.net the for loop is also known as for next loop what is the name of the for loop that's nothing but the for next loop okay fine now if i consider the syntax of the for loop that is okay for variable a uh, variable name as data type okay i want to specify the data type start to end okay so iteration and steps if the if this is true what i will do i'm going to execute this statement okay and to increment i have next next is a keyword okay to repeat the process okay fine this is the simple example over so what is the module name that's nothing but the number and main function the execution of the program is going to start from the main function so console dot write okay i want to display the number 1 to 10 okay fine see here for i as integer for i as integer so from where i want to start from the beginning that's nothing but the 1 to 10 so what is the value of i that's nothing but the 1 okay 2 10 so it is 1 2 10 okay fine now what i will do console dot write line and i'm going to print the value i so what i'm printing 1 next so i is incremented by 1 okay 2 which is less than or equal to 10 the condition is true so what i want to do i want to print to so i'm going to continue till 10 okay when i is 10 10 less than or equal to 10 the condition is true so i'm going to get the result 10 i'm going to print the value 10 okay fine then when it comes to next 10 plus 1 it is 11 Eleven less than or equal to ten. The condition is false, so the control comes out from the for next loop. Over. Well, so then I'm going to have the end of main program, and I'm going to end the module. This is the way I can able to use for next loop in my program. Okay, fine. Then I'm going to have while end loop. so i'm going to have the while end loop which is similar to while loop which is similar to which loop while loop over well, now if i consider while loop it is called pre testing loop in the sense what at the beginning only i'm going to check the condition if the condition is true then only i'm going to execute this statement if the condition is false what's going to happen i'm not going to execute the statement which is written within the while block so the while end loop is used to execute block of codes or statements in a program as long as the given condition is true okay it is useful when number of execution of a block is not known in the sense what when i go with while loop when i don't know how many times i want to repeat the statement or execution that time i'll go with the while end loop it's also known as entry controlled loop so what is the name entry controlled loop or pre testing pre testing loop okay fine which means it initially checks all the condition if the condition is true then only you can able to enter into the while block if the condition is true the body of the while loop is going to 
be executed okay fine now this process is repeated until the condition is true once the condition is false what's going to happen the control is transferred out of the loop okay fine see here this is the general syntax while okay i'm going to have the condition if the condition is true what i'm going to have i'm going to have set of statement that to be executed then i'm going to have end while okay fine so if, if the condition is false what's going to happen the control comes out from the loop that is nothing but they comes out from the while loop let me to consider simple example here here also i'll take the same program that is program to print 1 to 10 over oh, well, see here what's my module name while number is nothing but my module name okay the execution of the program is going to start from the main function okay x is nothing but the iteration variable okay so it's of type integer and I'm going to assign the value 1 because I want to start from 1 and where I want to end when I reach 10. Okay, so 1 to 10, I just want to print. Now I'll check the condition while x less than or equal to 10, the condition is true. So what I want to do, I want to print the value x over. After that, what I want to do, I want to increment x by 1. Okay, so x equal to x plus 1. Okay, fine. Then I'll check the condition. X is now 2, 2 less than or equal to 10. The condition is true. So what I will do? I'm going to print the value 2. Over. Now, okay, I'm going to print the value 2. Now, X is going to increment by 1. The value of X is now 3. Okay, 3 less than or equal to 10. The condition is true. So I'm going to print the value 3. So this process is going to continue until... Okay, when x becomes 10, 10 less than or equal to 10, the condition is true. So, I'm going to get the value 10. Now, what I will do, I'm going to increment the x by 1. Now, x is 11. Okay, 11 less than or equal to 10, the condition is false. So, the control comes out from the while loop. Over. Then, I'm going to have the end of the main program and I'm going to have the end of the module. Okay, this is the way I can able to use looping statements in vb.net and the most commonly used looping statements in vb.net is nothing but the while, do while and for. Well, the syntax is entirely different from .net that is nothing but C sharp .net or Java or C program. Anyway, dear student, in my today's session, I started with what is looping and different types of looping statements anyway let's meet in the next unit with the new concept until that keep watching and keep learning thank you